Go check it out if you're in the Pittsburgh area. It's not that far of a drive away for a lot, a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, you know, Columbus, and I can speak to this since you guys are, you know, in tune with what's going on in Columbus. Um, and I, I spoke to somebody else about this. I've noticed there's a lot coming out of Columbus. I remember, like, the my, the view over here of Columbus was how depressed it was. It's, you know, you know, it's really kind of in the dumps 10 years ago, I guess. Um, but I can't believe... You know, this and, and a few other things. I, how many businesses I, I hear are coming from Columbus these days? Um, it, it seems like the area is kind of, uh, you know, a few years ago what Pittsburgh was, where it's like, here's all this kind of building startup y kind of energy. Uh, can, can you speak a little bit, like, you know, for those in Pittsburgh that don't know what's going on in Columbus right now? Well, I mean, of course, uh, you know, you have Ohio State there, which is, you know, huge. Uh, I don't even know what their enrollment is these days. Probably, uh, I don't know, tens and tens of thousands, if not a hundred thousand. But uh, they're uh, you, you've gotten a lot of spinoffs from that. I mean, you have you have a lot of mature industries there. You have, uh, I guess, uh, the uh, the nationwide insurance is probably the big one. Uh, they uh, we've got some of the people that uh, volunteer with us uh, are working for some startups in, in town. Um, it's it's an interesting it, it's an interesting area because you have sort of the you also have the intersection there because that's it's also the state capital so you have what we call the government there um, but it's it's really it, it, there's more there than you think because it, it's the it's the the biggest city in Ohio uh, because you've got just the, this whole big area surrounding it mm -hmm. so really there's there's a lot going on I I, I only visit there. A few times a year, so I guess I'm I'm maybe not the, the person to, to give you the full wow. story on it. But I've been visiting their social, they've been visiting their meetup groups <laughs> mm -hmm. virtually, and uh, they have a huge tech meetup group that there's really? something in Pittsburgh called Free and Almost Free, where this guy named Frank has like all these people jump in and post their free or almost free meetups on the free and almost free meetup group. And this is what's happening in a technology meetup group in Columbus. There's something like 200 groups that have jumped into the, the, uh, the free and uh, the uh, technology meetup group. There's the free and almost free in Pittsburgh, but the technology group in Columbus is really amazing. They have all different types of technology and I vicariously join a few and try to subvert <laughs> subversively drop information about Ohio Linux Fest in there but um, one of the groups that I just just joined today in Columbus and there might be a similar one uh, in Pittsburgh is the Bitcoin meetup group in Columbus uh, we're going to be showing a, a Bitcoin documentary that's hot off the presses it's called the rise and rise and rise of the Bitcoin and uh, and that will be at seven o'clock on Friday night. And I I went into the Bitcoin <laughs> group uh, meetup group of Columbus to uh, to let them know about that. But uh, technology is big there, and just like we have Bakery Square where we have the tech shop uh, next to Google, there they have something called the Columbus Innovation Lab. And one of our uh, speakers is Alex Bandar. He's the um, He's the keynote speaker for uh, Friday at 4 o'clock, and he is the head of that uh, innovation lab. And um, he's going to be talking all about um, open source in uh, the maker community. And uh, as a matter of fact, the, uh, that, that whole scene of do-it-yourself, innovation, startups, all that is kind of wrapped into the, um, the whole create your own program, create your own open source program. It, it's such a, a perfect marriage of, of makers and open source programmers that um, that's going to be um, a theme throughout the um, conference this year. Um, actually, um, Katie might want to come to meet uh, Ruth Suley, who is the community manager for uh, Red Hat, who's going to be our uh, keynote speaker what time is she coming on at, at six on Saturday, I believe? Uh, yes. I and think so. uh, and she's going to yeah. be talking about um, is is are is making are makers default to open source? Should makers be making things in open source uh, programming? And, and is that synonymous makers and open source? So she's going to uh, give us a really good um, overview of that being the community leader for um, 
red hat. I'm really looking forward. And all our, all of our keynotes are really going to be great. This isn't to you know put one above the other, but um, we have such a tremendous opportunity of shifting from the my de my desktop order operating system is better than yours kind of discussion into one about hey let's create something new with these raspberries and Arduino boards and Internet of Things and nice. and just as everything is coming together paradoxically we're also having people building things to live off the grid and sustainability and no i'm going to do it all myself and you know so so both of that is going on simultaneously and 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 that's really breathing a, a big fresh air into um into the linux and open source uh movement awesome awesome go check it out